The Celtic Sea Irish, and Mhuir Kyltich, Welsh, Y More Celtaid, Cornish, and More Celtic, Breton, R More Celtic, French, La Mer Celtique is the area of the Atlantic Ocean off the south coast of Ireland bounded to the east by St George's Channel. Other limits include the Bristol Channel, the English Channel, and the Bay of Biscay, as well as adjacent portions of Wales, Cornwall, Devon, and Brittany. The southern and western boundaries are delimited by the continental shelf, which drops away sharply. The Isles of Scilly are an archipelago of small islands in the sea. History The Celtic Sea takes its name from the Celtic heritage of the bounding lands to the north and east. The name was first proposed by E. W. L. Holt at a 1921 meeting in Dublin of fisheries experts from England, Wales, Ireland, Scotland and France. The northern portion of this sea had previously been considered as part of St. George's Channel and the southern portion as an indifferentiated part of the southwest approaches to Great Britain. The need for a common name came to be felt because of the common marine biology, geology and hydrology. It was adopted in France before being common in the English speaking countries. In 1957, Edouard Le Danois wrote, The name Celtic Sea is hardly known even to oceanographers. It was adopted by marine biologists and oceanographers, and later by petroleum exploration firms. It is named in a 1963 British atlas, but a 1972 article states what British maps call the Western Approaches, and what the oil industry calls the Celtic Sea. Certainly the residents on the western coast of Great Britain Don. T refer to it as such. <laughs> Limits there are no land features to divide the Celtic Sea from the open Atlantic Ocean to the south and west. For these limits, Holt suggested the 200 fathom 370 meters, 1, feet marine contour and the island of Ushant off the tip of Brittany. The definition approved by 1974 by the UK hydrographer of the Navy for use in Admiralty charts was bounded roughly by lines joining Ushant, Land's End, Heartland Point, Lundy Island, St. Govan's Head and Rosslair, thence following the Irish coast south to Mizen Head and then along the 200-metre isobath to approximately the latitude of Ushant. The International Hydrographic Organization defines the limits of the Celtic Sea as follows On the north the southern limit of the Irish Sea a line joining St. David's Head to Carnsore Point, the south coast of Ireland, thence from Mizen Head a line drawn to a position 51 degrees 0 and 11 degrees 30 w. On the west and south. A line from the position 51 degrees 0 and 11 degrees 30 w south to 49 degrees north, thence to latitude 46 degrees 30 and on the western limit of the Bay of Biscay a line joining Cape Ortegal to Penmark Point, thence along that line to Penmark Point. On the east. The western limit of the English Channel a line joining Ile Vierge to land s end and the western limit of the Bristol Channel a line joining Heartland Point to St. Govan s head. Topic. Seabed Topic. The seabed under the Celtic Sea is called the Celtic Shelf, part of the continental shelf of Europe. The northeast portion has a depth of between 90 and 100 metres 300 to 330 feet, increasing towards St. George's Channel. In the opposite direction, sand ridges pointing southwest have a similar height, separated by troughs approximately 50 metres 160 feet deeper. These ridges were formed by tidal effects when the sea level was lower. South of 50 degrees north the topography is more irregular, oil and gas exploration in the Celtic Sea has had limited commercial success. The Kinsale Head gas field supplied much of the Republic of Ireland in the 1980s and 1990s. <laughs> Ecology of the Celtic Sea the Celtic Sea has a rich fishery with total annual catches of 1.8 million tons as of 2007. Four cetacean species occur frequently in the area mink whale, bottlenose dolphin, short beaked common dolphin, and harbor porpoise. Formerly, it held an abundance of marine mammals. 
Topic See also Topic Irish Conservation Box Topic References Topic Topic External Links Topic Coccoliths in the Celtic Sea, a bloom of phytoplankton in the Celtic Sea, visible from outer space in an MISR image, 4 June 2001.